welcome to the rps group of schools online classes students today we will continue the chapter kinds of materials the module 3 in this module we will study the next properties of the materials the property is solubility a large number of materials can dissolve in water but water cannot dissolve all the materials the property of dissolving in water is called solubility materials can be classified into two groups on the basis of their solubility in water number 1 soluble materials number 2 insoluble materials so we will study about the soluble materials the first one the materials which dissolve in water are called soluble materials for example sugar salt baking powder etc second insoluble materials the materials which do not dissolve in water are called insoluble materials for example chalk powder sand wood etc next next two properties on the basis of solubility with each other the first one miscible liquids the liquids which completely mix with water are called miscible liquids for example lemon juice vinegar alcohol etc number 2 immiscible liquids the liquids which do not mix with water are called immiscible liquids for example coconut oils mustard oil etc next property ability to float or sink in water some materials such as wood paper sponge etc float on surface of water because of these are less denser than water some materials like stone metal spoon eraser etc sink in water these are more denser than water as you see in both the pictures there are some substances which can float on water and some substances which can be sink in the water next property is transparency on the basis of transparency materials are classified into three groups number 1 transparent materials number 2 opaque materials number 3 translucent materials first one the materials which allow light to pass through them are called transparent materials for example glass plastic sheet etc second one opaque materials the materials which do not allow light to pass through them are called opaque materials examples are book wood wall etc three translucent materials the materials which allow only partial light to pass through them are called translucent materials for example butter paper frosted glass oily paper etc students about these type of materials you have already studied in chapter light now there are other other properties of the materials are there on which we can classify the objects the first one is magnetic properties as per this property substances are divided into two groups magnetic materials and non magnetic materials 
the first one the materials which are attracted by a magnet are called magnetic materials for example iron nails a metal key a paper pin etc these materials are attracted towards a magnet the second one the materials which are not attracted by a magnet are called non magnetic materials examples are pencil notebook wood cloth etc there is an another property on which on which the materials are classified number 1 whether the objects allow heat to pass through them if heat can be passed through them those are called good conductors of heat or those who do not allow heat to pass through them are called bad or poor conductors of heat or they are also called as insulators number 2 whether the object allow an electric current to pass through them those objects are called good conductors of electricity or conductors if objects do not allow an electric current to pass through them those materials are called as bad conductors of electricity or insulators that's for the, that's for the day thank you